All right, man, introduce yourself, man. What's up, man? That's your man, Kyder, man. You know, live here in Southwest Detroit, you know, hometown. Rules, of course. You know, I'm here, you know, exclusive magazine with man, EJ. Um, shit, what's pop? All right, man, now, uh, you just put out this, your mixtape, man, Now or Never 2, man. Let us know about it, man. Yeah, uh, I dropped that last month, um, June 14th, uh, Now or Never Volume 2. Um, you know, that was like the, the second part to the Now or Never I released a year ago. Um, yeah, dropped it on um, June 14th. Uh, and got, you know, just c good music, good good quality Detroit music. Um, got a lot of uh, features on there, you know, from other artists that I deal with, you know, from Detroit, um, you know what I'm saying, even outside of Detroit. Um, uh, like I said, I had dropped it, like, with the hard copies, like, June 14th. Currently, you know, I, I did, like, 500 of them, you know, so, like, within less than a month, you know what I'm saying? And if a nigga know, you know what I'm saying, if you out in the streets and you selling 500 copies in the street, that's that's something, you know, no no bullshit. Um, just recently, I just put it on the net, too. Um, like, uh, on July 24th, I released it on Dat Piff, live mixtape, you know, just trying to get another crowd, uh, you know what I'm saying, to get in tune with the music, so, um, it's been all love, though, you know, um, we get lots of love from everybody who, who's heard it. Um, you know, no, no bad remarks about it or nothing, but, you know, so I'm very blessed about that. And, you know, just shout out to everybody who helped me on that, uh, from the producers all the way down to the photographer. So, yeah, you know, that's, that's how we is with that. Now, man, your brand of music, man, you don't do... You know what I'm saying? The quote unquote typical Detroit music, man. You got a whole nother sound about you, man. Let everybody know how that came about. Man, well, I, I'm gonna say, like, man, I've just been a fan of all type of music since birth. You know, man, I grew up listening to everything. Um, you know, even when I was down south, like, like that type of music, man, they call it, uh, I can't even remember, but. I've, been, I've just been a fan of all type of music, man, no matter what it is, man. If it sounds good to me and if it's something that I can relate to, whether if it's guitars behind it or if it's drums behind it, you know, I'm with it. And um, I think that had a lot to do with me just kind of being versatile in the music that I make. Um, you know, I just I don't want to be labeled just as, you know what I'm saying, the same rapper from Detroit or... You know what I'm saying? Not even Detroit, just all around, you know what I'm saying? Around the country, you know, people just, you know, uh, rap music already got like a, a label on it anyway. So like, you know, when somebody say, hey, a rapper, you know, a lot of things, a lot of times people are always just like, oh, well, we know what he's talking about, but you know, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be one of them, you know? So I just take all that I've learned and what I've heard and what I've go through in life and, things that I want to do in life, and just put it all together. Now you were saying, man, uh, when I was listening to one of your songs, man, you don't want to be labeled as a trap, you know what I'm saying? Like you switch your music. Now right. what made you kind of, you know what I'm saying, go from rapping one way to rapping the way you rap now? Um, it had to do with, it had to do with like the life, life I was living too, you know what I'm saying? Like I, don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? I. It's nothing wrong with it, you know what I'm saying, with the way people rap, you know, it's just, some people just just do it just to like, you know, because they think it's cool. You know, I respect the dude who really go through it and really have to do it, and then they take their music and put it on, you know what I'm saying, and record about it, but a lot of a lot of guys just do it because it's like the easy easiest thing to do about music, you know what I'm saying, when you're talking about Drugs, hoes, all that, you know, excuse me, I ain't know about my language, but, um, you know what I'm saying? This is a lot of people just look at the rap and they, and they, it, it, it's like the easy way out, the easy way to rap, so, um, but yeah, though, man, it was just a time in my life, you know what I'm saying, when I was really doing that, you know, I was, you know, I was kind of in the streets like that, and, you know, so my music was reflecting on that, but even not all the way, I was still, you know, kicking it or speaking on some other stuff too. But um, 
as I kind of like got older and grew more into the music, I kind of like just really got away from it, you know. Um, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's much respect to, all, to to whatever you do, you know, however your music is and, you know, if it's good music, it's whether, whatever you're talking about. So, um, that's that's basically like what I mean, like, you know, when I say, you know, I went from that to rapping like how I am now, you know? All right, now, since you done switched over, man, how has the fans been, how has they been gravitating towards your music, man? Has it still been the same? It's, uh, no, actually, like, I, I've, I've kind of like grown, you know what I'm saying, got more exposure and you know what I'm saying, with me kind of like switching my switching my style up a little bit. Um, you know, you still got the people who who, who, who who say, you know what I'm saying, man, they don't like it and whatever, but you know what I'm saying, all, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to the end of the day, them people gonna be back, you know what I'm saying, messing with me with the music, whatever, because you know, that's just how it go, you know what I'm saying? Once once other people get to start noticing you, you know what I'm saying, the people who who always know that you've been doing this, then they gonna, they gonna talk, start to take notice too, you know what I'm saying? It just take another person outside of the city or outside the hood or whatever to take notice and then everybody else kind of like a fall in place. But it's been, a, you know what I'm saying, it's been a good, good thing for me that you know, I kind of like went that way with the music, man. You know, I, I, I never, you know, kind of like go back to what I, you know, what I'm saying how I was. You know, what I'm saying it's just, it's been like a, it's been like a boost for me. You know, what I'm saying as far as like fans, followers, everything about music, man. So it's been, it's been, a, it's been a plus for me. All right, man. Now give us a rundown of all the past projects you got out. Oh, you say what? All the past work you got out. Oh, the, um. Well, like I say, man, um, I still, you know, that old music is still out, you know, man. Um, shout out to my man DJ Pest, who been, you know, been with me since I started. Uh, my first mixtapes was, was done through him. Um, like when I was with a group, EBE, uh, you know what I'm saying? All that music, you know, you, you can check that out on that piff. Uh, that's the wire, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's back. That's back when it really was like in the streets, so you would hear a lot of street stuff and you know all that type of music on there, man. You know, uh, but still good music too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, uh, like I say, I got my first solo now and never, uh, now and never 1.5, which is also on that pit. You can check that out. Um, and then you know what I'm saying the now and never two. That's out right now. That's that's, that's all over Detroit right now, you know. Um, if you ain't got it, man, um, make sure you holler at me on Twitter, uh, at Kiterman, K-H-I-D-A-M-A-N. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just, just just, holler at me, man. On, on, if you need some music, I'm on, I'm on all type of social networks, from Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Um, you, can, you can get all the nine network. Uh, material that you want on there, uh, and I got the hard copies too for you. So, all right, man. Uh, uh, what do you want to take your music, man? Like, do you want to? Would you rather stay independent and do it yourself, man, or do you want to get a major deal? I know I talk to a lot of rappers, man. And they not really feeling the major deals right now. They rather just stay independent. I mean, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm kind of like on that, that same, same thing too. You know, I. The independent thing right now is is, is is what's best. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's what's best right now for these days and age of the music. Um, but you know what I'm saying? I, I would, you know, it'd be a blessing. You know what I'm saying? If the right, if the right label was to holler at me, you know what I'm saying? If I knew it was a label that I know that's going in that direction that I'm looking for, you know, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? I. I wouldn't take the deal if it ain't right, but you know I'm, I'm not. I don't really like go out and try to look to get signed. You know I'm I'm doing everything by myself right now, and it's it's, it's been doing good for me. And um, everything else, you know, just it's just a building process. So the independent uh, label right now is just it's, it's doing pretty good for me. So I'm cool with.